Hello. Uh, today uh, we are going to discuss a very small standard IAS 8 changes in accounting policy estimates and prior period errors. So as you can uh, see the name of the standard, this standard uh, tackles three main areas changes in accounting policy and its treatment changes in accounting estimate and its treatment and uh, if there is a prior period error if there is an error which happened in the previous years what is the treatment so these are the three main areas which we are going to discuss today what is changing accounting policy and the treatment change in accounting estimate and its treatment and the treatment of prior period errors so let us uh, start with accounting policy. What is accounting policy? Accounting policies are the rules, basis, principles by which an item is recorded in the financial statement. So these are the basic rules. So if there is a transaction and you are planning to record it in the financial statement, the rule you follow, the principle you follow is termed as accounting policy. And the examples of accounting policies are IFRSs. The example of accounting policies are like an item you are recording as an expense. It is an accounting policy. Another item you are recording it as an asset. It is an accounting policy. You are valuing inventory using FIFO method. It is an accounting policy. You are valuing inventory under average cost method, AFCO method. It is an accounting policy. You are showing an expense under distribution cost, which is an accounting policy. Or you are uh, showing an expense under cost of sales. These are examples of accounting policy. So accounting policies are the rules or principles which is followed. And uh, according to these rules and consumptions, uh, conceptions, uh, concepts, we are actually recording a transaction in the financial statement. So these are the examples of accounting policy. Now the question is, can you change accounting policy as per your wish? The answer is no. Accounting policies cannot be changed from time to time. Accounting policies cannot be changed from time to time. A change in accounting policy is permitted only under two situations. A change in accounting policy is permitted only under two situations. The first situation is if it is required by IFRS. IFRS asks you to change an accounting policy. There is a amendment in the IFRS. The rule in the IFRS is changed. And the IFRS and the new IFRS is asking you to change the accounting policy. And the second situation is if it provides a more better presentation. Only under these situations you can change an accounting policy. So what are the examples of accounting policies? An item recorded as an expense, an item recorded as an asset, inventory valuation under FIFO or inventory valuation under AFCO, showing an expense in distribution cost. These are the examples of accounting policies. Now can you change an accounting policy? The answer is no. However, you can change accounting policy under two situations. The first situation is if it is required by IFRS. And the second situation is if it provides a more better presentation. So what are the examples of change in accounting policy? An item which was earlier recorded as an expense is now capitalized. It is an example of accounting policy. We cannot do that on our own. IFRS should tell us. An item earlier capitalized now recorded as an expense. We cannot do it on our own. IFRS should tell us that is why we haven't learned something like that until now. Recording an expense earlier under cost of sales, but now under admin expense. It is an example of accounting policy. Recording inventory, valuing inventory earlier under FIFO method, but now under AFCO method. It is a change in accounting policy. So the examples of changing accounting policies include uh, earlier an item used to be expense. Now it is capitalized. Earlier an item was recorded under cost of sales. Now it is recorded under admin expense. Earlier the inventory was valued under FIFO method, now it is valued under AFCO method. These are the examples of change in accounting policies. 
an account a change in accounting policy is only permitted if it is required by FRS and if it provides a more relevant better presentation. Now let us look at the treatment. If the change in accounting policy is brought into the treatment is retrospectively that is you should assume that the change has happened right from the beginning of time. Suppose your company started 10 years ago and until the past year you had valued inventory using FIFO method. In the current year you are planning to value the inventory using AVCO method, average cost method. So it is a change in accounting policy. Until the previous year you had valued inventory using first in first out FIFO method and uh, from the current year you are planning to value the inventory using AVCO method, average cost method. And the treatment is retrospective treatment. You assume that you had practically started valuing the inventory using AFCO method right from the start of the time, right? That is right uh, before 10 years. So retrospective treatment the Varnandana, in a treatment, in a condo on the change, starting a mudale in the reveal our change in a condo in the Varane, retrospective treatment in the Varane. ஏன்னும் <laughs> கையின் வர்சங்களிலே அவரு change இந்தே அவரு impact நீங்கள் அந்தே இண்டி விரும் காணிக்கின்டி விரும் and how are we going to apply this change of course whenever there is a change in accounting policy the profits will change accounting policy மாரும் சமியத்த profits எக்கே மாரும் okay so any current year change இ accounting policy காரணம் current yearல இ வர்சம் profitல் அந்தங்களும் மித்தியாசங்கள் அந்தங்கள் it will be recorded in current year financial statement. This is the SOP. Accounting policy is the same previous years. In the previous years, we have to change the same year. We have to change the same year. That is the retrospective treatment. In previous years, we have to change the same year. That is why we have to change the opening retained earnings. That is why கையின் வர்சத்தே financial statement உன்னோடு பிரப்பாரையனம் அதினியான comparative financial statement என்ன வரையனம் so change in accounting policy treatment என்தான retrospective treatment retrospective treatment என்ன வருந்தான் இயுரு change இய வர்சம் முதலல்லா கையின் வர்சங்களிலும் வந்தட்டுண்டு என்னல் ரீதிலான நம்மலது பிரசந்தியாமண்டி போன்னது accounting policy change ஐக்கினால profitலும் இன்கத்தில் expenseலக்கே மாட்டிங்கள் வெரு இ வர்சத்த செய்ஞ்ச நம்மல் இ வர்சத்த financial statementல் காணிக்கியா, SOPலல் காணிக்கியா கையின வர்சத்த செய்ஞ்ச காரணம் profitல் அந்தங்கள் மித்தியாசங்கள் வந்தட்டுண்டங்கள் அது இ வர்சத்தே opening retained earningsல் காணிக்கியா அது கொடாதே கையின வர்சத்த financial statementsு உன்னோட பிரப்பாரியியா அது நியான நம்மல comparative financial statement Accounting Estimate Accounting Estimate Accounting Estimate and then what do you mean by Accounting Estimate? Accounting Estimates are the techniques used to arrive at the estimated figures. No, the figures are not exactly the same. So those figures you are trying to find out, calculate and that is known as estimation. Examples from the key are depreciation method you are estimating. Useful life you are estimating. The depreciation for the current year you are estimating, right? Residual value estimation. The amount of provision estimation. The accounting estimate in the examples are. Can you change an accounting estimate? Yes, it can be changed. If you feel that the estimate is wrong, you can always change it. Like, the accounting estimate, if you have accounting estimate, you have to change the estimate. You have to change the estimate. Depreciation ले useful life वो तेत्तिये पर शेरिया किया था अलकरा। निंगलो depreciation ले residual value ले change वो अंदर पाव निंगलो तो शेरिया की टन्दा। Provision ले amount तो मारे पर निंगलो पूरी amount डे देते टन्दा। अलाइ। So it can be changed any time। 
and treatment and then, prospective treatment and prospective treatment that is the change will only impact the current year financial statement and the future year financial statement. Our change in any more than a motor matre canicudo, Paya guiding already recorded the tender, no number of matam bonilla. Your change in number any more than a motor matra and the yarlu, canicarulu, our treatment and number on the brain, prospective treatment in the brain. Le Ningle Cheradana, IA sixteen la Cheradana. Change in useful life of the asset. Other change in accounting estimate on Ningle Paya depreciation poeta matam and the tilla. Ningle any more than a motor matra and the yana, put your depreciation calculate yana. Change in value of the provision. Ningal Kayana version provision the amount or amount to two. E version Ningal Kamanesilai, I amount a la, where amount on a one day and the Lagari Manesilai. At the change in accounting estimate. A treatment and Ningla Chedan. Any more than a motor Ningla put the amount of Anikian. A lather Ningla Kayana versus the amount of the Yambunilla, Matanunum, Bunilla. La Kayana versus the financial statement of Ningla Matanunum, Bunilla. So that treatment is known as prospective treatment. So whenever there is a change in accounting estimate, you will apply that change in the current year financial statement as well as the future year financial statement. Any model amount to matra ningal avaru change apply cheyullu. Avaru treatment nu parayana peru aanu the prospective treatment. Next is errors. Errors. Third one errors. What is errors? Errors are <coughs> misstatement or omissions or fraud number of financial statements are mistakes intentional mistakes and intentional mistakes allengile omission allengile fraud then ekkeyana nammala errors nu parayunnu errors vannu kaynale adu nammal correct cheyanam nan ee varsha ana error vannadengile adu ee varshathe financial statement la correct cheyandi varu Kaina versa terrana on the gila, other Kaina versana on any air to the Namaka or the Kamatilla, other number correct individual. Anju versa mumbo on the errana number in the Mansilaki, even other can the individual number correct, she individual. Anganianical in the treatment on a retrospective treatment on a either Kaina versa the carrying Larakan number on the end under change, she in under. So retrospective treatment and number change in accounting policy, the participant, same treatment on a number would be applied to you. E versa terra. This is the financial statement. This is the SOP. This the previous year's errors. This is the opening retaining. This is the profit. This is the opening retaining. This is the financial This is the retrospective treatment. This is the financial statement. This is the retrospective treatment. And I guess in some of the single entity questions we did. And then, uh, uh, receivables cut down the phone situations again. Okay. We have credit controller, we have receivables and they do adichamati kundui. Nano rubede receivables are adichamati kundui. Adil no time with the ruba adichamati the kaina or shana, no time with the ruba adichamati the eva or shana. And then, we have our example. Our credit controller has stole our receivables. Total receivables stolen is 400. Kaina or Receivables stole either the 250. E version stole either the 150. Treatment retrospective treatment. Now, we have to do this. Receivables are not going to be able to do this. Now, we have receivables in the asset. Receivables are not going to be able to Expense are not going to be able to do this. E version is not going to be able to do this. E version is not going to be able to do this. E version is not going to be able to do this. E version is not going to be able to do this. E version Kaina Varshangala and Astangala, E Varshati opening retaining Zilla, adjust E. Kaina Varshamaya, Adjimati Kundo, two fifty on a other garden number of profit load reduction on the tender, retaining silver reduction on the tender, other number E Varshati opening retaining silver the year. So that is how we do retrospective treatment. Clear? Thank you.